Hey there, is today your first time here? Or maybe your first time in a while? If so, maybe you're wondering exactly who we are and what this church is all about. Well, we'd like you to know that we're a group of ordinary people who are on an amazing journey together, following Christ. Our guide is the Bible because it's the divinely inspired Word of God and it will never take us in the wrong direction. Along the way, we hope you'll see that we are welcoming and spiritually passionate and that getting to know you is a big deal to us. We know that the road is rough sometimes, but we'll work really hard to bring you practical and relevant messages to equip and encourage you through life's ups and downs. We want you to know that we care about this community and we believe that it's our job to make it a better place. So no matter who you are or where you've been, we're glad you're here with us today. And we hope that you'll join us on our journey, following Christ and living out His plan for us. So welcome to church. Hallelujah. Good morning, saints. Let us stand and just continue to consecrate ourselves into his presence. Hallelujah. 
We give him all the praise. We give him all the glory for he has kept us. Kept us during the week. The worst could have happened, but because he's a sovereign Lord, he's a God who watches after his word to perform it. He's a God who honors his word. Hallelujah. This morning, can we just all lift up our hands and just begin to thank God that he is Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. Lord, we come before the throne of grace. We want to thank you this morning that it had not been for you, we wouldn't be where we are. Lord God, we thank you that you have kept us. We thank you, Lord God, that you've been a faithful God. You've been a good God. You've been an a holy God. We thank you that you are a different God. You are not like any other gods out there. This morning we have a reason to lift up your name. We have a reason to say there is none like you. We have a reason to say you alone deserves all the praise. You alone deserves all the glory. You alone deserves all the adoration. Come on, somebody just begin to, to thank him. Father, we adore you. We honor in your name. We reverence your name, Spirit of the living God. This morning we say, have your way. Our hearts are expectant to what you want to release to us as a church, as a body of Christ. We thank you that this morning you are going to meet your people at their point of their needs. Whatever that they're going through, their lives will never be the same. We thank you for the word that you're going to release this morning. A word in season. A word that is going to change lives. A word that is going to transform us. A word that is going to move us from one level of glory to the next. A word that is going to do things like never before. Come on, somebody just begin to pray in the spirit. Come on, worship us. Can we just sing a new song? Come on, Ben. Come on, Grace. I'm growing the house. The presence of the Lord is in this place. Jehovah Shammah is in the house. Jehovah Sidney is in the house. He is in the house. We are Baba no lobo shakatarada. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Boko to lobo shakantarada. Reke tele be 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 be. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Reke tele be 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 be. Uriya la mama 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 mama. Come on, worship us. Can you grab your mic as we begin to sing a new song unto the Lord? Create some glow in the house. Reke le be 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 be. Lika chala ba 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 ba. Boko tolo bo 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 bo. Heke tele be 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 be. Uri alaman tolo bo sheke le le le. Lord, we honor and reverence your name. We say, have your way, Lord. Boko tolo bo shaka tele be be. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor, Spirit of the Living God. We say, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. We give you all the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, everybody just begin to lift up your hands and pray some glory in the house. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah is the highest praise. We say hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah is the highest praise. We say have your way this morning. Have your way this morning. Have your way this morning. Take over, Lord God. We say, have your way this morning. 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 Have your way, Lord God. Take over, Lord God. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you excited to be found in the presence of the Lord this morning? Come on, somebody shout, Amen. Ay, ay, ay. He says in his word, where two or three are gathered in his name, he is already there. So you and I this morning, we are way more than two or three. Hallelujah. 
that means we serve that kind of God who honors his weight, who watches after his weight to perform it. So this morning he's in the house. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a hand of praise. The word says that be hands holy people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are we excited? When God speaks to Abraham, he says Abraham is his friend. Hallelujah. For God to say you are my friend, that's mean, that means he loves you that much. He honors you that much. He values you that much. Can you look at the person next to you and say, I am a friend of God. Come on, say it like you mean it. Say, I am a friend of God. Come on, if you believe it, shout it and say, I'm a friend of God. Hallelujah. I know most of us, we are familiar with the song. Hallelujah. Just put your hands together. Say, it. everybody hey. put your hands together. Hallelujah. Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me when I call. Is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love me. It's amazing. Who am I that? Come on, let's sing that this morning. That you hear me when I call. Come on, someone say, Is it true that you are How you love me? Say, It's amazing. Come say, Who am I that? Come on, everybody, open your mouth. How you, how you hear me? Say when I call. When I call. Yes, sir. Is it true that? Is it true that you are me? How you love me? Say it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. I am a friend of God. 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 He calls me friend. He calls me friend. I am a friend of God. 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 He calls me friend. Who am I that you are? Come on, are you there, church? That you me. When I call, when I call. Yes, sir. Say, is it you that you are thinking? That you are thinking of me. How you me. How you love me. It's amazing. It's amazing. Who am I that? Who am I that you are my? Are you the church this morning? That you hear me? Say when I call. When I call. Yes, sir. Say, is it true that you are? Is it true that you are thinking of me? That you hear me? How you love me? It's amazing. Oh, he 
mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We're going to have fun in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Can you clap if we clap? If we dance, if we, if we jump, just jump with us, hallelujah, and enjoy the, having the presence of the Lord, hallelujah. Hey. Oh. Put your hands together, say. Yes, sir. You are. You're in control, seated high, and you're not all for greater. Yeah, sovereign ruler, lion of Judah, you are God, you are God, and you're in control. Grace Jehovah, things will change when we call on that name. Grace Jehovah, things will change when we call on that name. Grace Jehovah, things will change when we call on that name. Over. Everybody clap your hands. Hey. 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 You are good. You are good. Hey. And you ring control. Seated high. Seated high. You're the Lord of all. Wait a minute. Sovereign ruler. Sovereign ruler. Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah. You are God. You are God. Things will change. Things will change. When we call. When we call. On that name. On that name. Great Jehovah. Things will change. Things will change. When we call. When we call. On that name. You are good. You are good. Hey, and we go to see that higher. See that higher. You are Lord of all. Oh, 
Stop praising. Say great Jehovah. Great Jehovah. Your good, your good, and we won't stop praising. And we won't stop praising. We won't stop praising. We won't stop praising. And we won't stop praising. We won't stop praising. We won't stop praising. Stop praising. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We ought to give him all the praises and glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. It's been so good. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, yes. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes. Hallelujah. Hey. 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 Where I run. 
that you've made us rulers, oh God. We thank you, God, that we are called by your name. We are kings, oh God. Thank you, Father God, that we know what you have in store for us is greater and bigger, oh God. We thank you that your word never fails. We thank you, Lord, that your word will always come to fruition in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that was shed for our purification, that was shed for our justification. We thank you for that blood that never loses power. Yes, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Jehovah Jireh. We say thank you, King of our hearts. Thank you for your dependability, oh God. We give you praise. We give you glory, Father God. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Good morning, saints. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, wonderful people of God. It is good to be alive. Hallelujah. I'm here to do the welcome. I welcome all of you on behalf of the prophet and apostle in their absentia. Thank you for making it to this auditorium where Jesus is king, where the Holy Spirit is in charge, where God rules, where you rule and reign. Hallelujah. Do we have any first-time visitors here with us today? Anyone visiting us for the first time? All right. Oh, wow. Well, welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you for, for being here. Hallelujah. Um, the ushers are going to give you a, pa a paper. Please fill in your details. We'd like to keep in contact with you. If you do not have a church where you fellowship, you are welcome to fellowship at Gateway Church. Hallelujah. Now, will you please stand up and greet three to five people? And I know we cannot count. We'll greet more because we're so full of love. So let's greet one another and tell them that you are aware things are going to be transformed. Today is the day of transformation. Hallelujah. family and welcome to Gateway Church. Thank you for being with us today. Should this be the first time you're visiting us this morning, please fill in our visitor's card and deposit it into the offering basket. We hope to see you again and that you decide to make Gateway your spiritual family. Our powerful and uplifting Sunday celebrations take place every Sunday from 9.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. right here at 709 Richards Drive, Halfway House in Midrand. 
Let's come on time and invite our friends, family, and colleagues to also receive of God's blessing and favor. Our Global Prayer Force online sessions are on every Monday to Thursday from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. The prayer rooms are led by Pastor Serge and Genevieve Gazari on Mondays, Apostle Sipiwo and Pastor Noko Lofranz on Tuesdays, Apostle Mike Ifanga on Wednesdays, Apostle Beggy and Prophet Sherry Gamete on Thursdays. We are praying for nations, the body of Christ, and personal prayer requests. We are all encouraged to join these powerful prayer sessions. Gateway Connect Groups are a place where we connect, grow, and fellowship with our brothers and sisters in Christ in a warm and intimate setting. Our Connect Group meetings are on every Tuesday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. online. The Zoom link is posted weekly in the Gateway News WhatsApp group. For more information, please contact our Gateway info line. This month, we will be having our Relationship Breakthrough Night with Apostle Beggy and Prophet Sherry Gametze on Friday, the 21st of October. Please invite a friend for a night of divine encounters with the Lord. Overcomers classes have resumed every Sunday from 8.30 a.m. to 9.25 a.m. The classes are in person. There are three Overcomers classes. Each is four weeks in duration. They are important for your Christian faith and your fruitful membership in Gateway Church. Please register at the Connect Desk to be part of these required classes for new believers and new Gateway Church members. Training for reigning online sessions with Apostle Begi Gamete are on every Saturday from 6 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. These are aimed at discipling believers for personal transformation and equipping you to rule and reign in every area of your life. The Apostle's book, The Holy Spirit Empowered Life, is available on hard copy for 180 rands or as a soft copy on Amazon. Get your copy and bless your loved one with a copy today. On the 30th of October, during our Sunday celebration, our guest speaker will be Apostle Temba Manana. Please invite your friends, your loved ones for a great time in the presence of the Lord. For more information on Gateway Church, please visit our website on www.nagc.org.za or email us on info at nagc.org.za. Alternatively, you can contact us on the Gateway Info line, and that is... 060-934-6222. And remember that all our services are streamed live on all our social media platforms, that is, at Gateway Global and our YouTube channel, Gateway Global TV. Please follow us and share the content. Enjoy the rest of the service. The service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greetings, saints, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Amen. Uh, greetings to Apostle and Prophet. I know they're absent today, but um, they're here with us in spirit. Hallelujah. Greetings to all the pastors in the house, the deacons, the elders, and all the saints in Jesus' name. Amen. So at this time, I'm just going to encourage as we take up an offering this morning. Hallelujah. I know that you had already said in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit as to how much today you will be giving towards the work of the Lord, giving uh, 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 um, through the table of honor and all other offerings that are done in the house. Hallelujah. So before we do give and we do our confession, I would like for us to read in the book of Psalms 27, just to encourage this morning. In the book of Psalms 27, verse 13, verse 13 and 14, and I'm reading it in the Amplified Bible. It says here, I would have despaired had I not believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for and confidently expect the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for and confidently expect the Lord. Hallelujah. I love this psalm. It says that I would have despaired had I not believed. Bazalwana, we live in the times where people are in despair. You know, I think the meaning of despair is complete loss of hope, you know, 
people have lost hope. And it's a fact, right? Even believers have lost hope because some have been waiting on the Lord and waiting. Gandhi Jehovah, when are things turning around? When are things coming okay for me? But I want to encourage you this morning, Bazalon. I'm not going to take your time. I just want to encourage you. I want us to speak like David spoke and said, had I despaired, had I not believed, I would have not seen the goodness of the Lord. And Bazalone, for as long as we are alive, for as long as we are breathing, I want to implore you this morning that keep your belief in God. The Bible says in verse 14 that expect the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Bazalone, waiting on God is not just standing. It's not just standing and saying, okay, so what's going to happen? But waiting on God, it means that you continue trusting Him. You continue believing Him for the things that you are trusting Him for. That is waiting. And the waiting seems like it's no exercise, right? Because you're just waiting. But waiting is an exercise. It requires you to be strong. Hallelujah. It even says that take courage. Don't let your heart lose hope. Hallelujah. As I encourage this morning, as we give this morning, understand, Bazalone, that whatever that you have lost hope in, whatever has made you to be in despair today, trust the Lord. The Bible says, expect the Lord. Anticipate the Lord. You know a person in expectation? You, you don't just wait, but you are expecting something. It's like, you know, I want to make a very typical example. We know that in the mornings on Sundays, um, before prophet and apostle come in, it's like, as we're singing, as we're praising, we keep checking those chairs, right? As to they're going to come in any minute. That is expectation. Because you know that they are going to arrive and they're going to sit at these chairs. That's how we wait on God. We expect him. In whatever situation, in whatever financial struggle, financial challenge, and whatever other challenge that you have, expect the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Expect the Lord this morning. Don't be in despair. And if you were at the verge of losing hope, I want to encourage you this morning. Do not lose heart. Do not lose hope. Continue standing on the word of God. Continue decreeing those things that you want to see in your life. The Bible says you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Hallelujah. As you wait for the Lord, decree those things that you are trusting the Lord for. As you are expecting the Lord, continue to confess those things that you want to see in your life. If it's change in your family, expect those things to happen in your life this morning. Hallelujah. I'm done, Bazalwane. As we stand on our feet, we're going to do our confession, but also, um, I think after our confession, they will put up the banking details um, of uh, the kinds of offerings that we are doing in the house. So please, at this time, can we just stand on our feet and just confess? Can we decree yeah, this morning? Can we speak those things that we want to see in our lives? Hallelujah. So can we do the confession together? I profess this day unto you, my Lord, Savior and High Priest, that I have come into the kingdom which you sought to give to us. I cried to you in my affliction, my labor, and my oppression. You brought me forth out of bondage with an outstretched arm, and with signs and wonders brought me into my wealthy place, a land flowing with milk and honey. Now, Lord, I have cheerfully brought the first fruits of the land which you, Lord, have given me, and with it worship and honor. I have also brought my free will offering as a seed, believing that you will bless it and cause men and women to cause good measure, press down, shake it together, and running over to be poured into my bosom. I plant the seed to be in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Bazalwane. Um, the speed point is circulating at this time. If you need to swipe, and um, you can raise your hands for envelopes as the music ministry comes in the front.
May we stand, saints, and worship the Lord together. Hallelujah. We worship you.
somebody let's give the Lord a hand of praise hallelujah let's give the Lord a hand of praise thank you Jesus shall we just oh I don't know if you're allowed to hold hands now are we allowed I don't know we allowed are we allowed okay let's hold hands just pray for the person on your left and on your right as we are about to get into the word just pray that the Lord will minister to them we are believing God for divine encounters this morning just pray for the person on your left on your right let's just pray as the spirit leads Zandiri amandiri bikatala mamandiri abaha rakatala mamandari akatala mamandara bahaye jakatole bikariala mamandele heya zandari ala mamandiri akatala babaha jekatala mamandari ala lala mamandari ala labaha jekamandiri akatole meheya riakatole me kariala mamandiri behe jakandiri amandiri kasole be rakamamandiri ala bakasole be Father, in the name of Jesus, we are here as your people. Lord, we are here to encounter you. We are here for you. Lord, we have gathered here on the mountain of the Lord's house that your name will be exalted and magnified. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we are yielded to you this morning in the name of Jesus. Move as you please in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we pray that you will take total control in the name of Jesus of this moment, this time, in the name of Jesus. Father, we can do nothing without you. Father, this morning I decrease that you may increase. In the name of Jesus, Father, less of me and all of you. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be a demonstration. Let there be a manifestation of the power of the living God. For your word says the kingdom of God is not in word only, but it is in the demonstration of the power of God. So, Father, we pray this morning, yielding to you for your leadership and your guidance. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we plead the blood of Jesus. We declare that this atmosphere is the atmosphere atmosphere of heaven where everything is possible in the mighty name of Jesus we decree and declare an open heaven even over this house in Jesus name that Lord as we minister your word it will proceed with power in the name of Jesus and authority in the name of Jesus that there will be oh God lives will be changed in the name of Jesus the sick will be healed in the name of Jesus the bound will be oh God set free in the name of Jesus yokes will be destroyed by reason of the anointing father we thank you that you are here and when you are here oh God everything changes so father we thank you this morning and we give you the glory we give you the praise in Jesus mighty name can you just pray in the spirit for one minute or two in the name of Jesus just pray let's pray in the name of Jesus you can let go of the hands it's fine but let's just press through in the spirit for just about a minute or two in the please lift your voice make up a hand Jakatala mamande karabaha riatole me baria la katele jeka baba 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 yela baha je ala mamande ala mamande elebe je la mamande katole be katala baha jakatele me ria la mamande ria katala mamande ria la mamande lehe jakala mamande ria katole be be kate rakato mutala baha jamande be kabaha ye ria la mamande karia la mande ria Jeka bakatole beketa, jaka tala mamande rebehe, raka tole beketa landereske, ramonde baba ya la mande, ria la mamande, ria la mamande lehe, jama katole me karia la maham. We bring down every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. We declare that Jesus reigns. Jesus is Lord. In the name of Jesus, raka tole ria la mande, ria katole me menda ria baha. Where the spirit of a living God is. There is liberty. There is freedom. Thank you, O oh God, that you are here today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, say, Amen. Hallelujah. Give it up to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. 
amen you may be seated in the presence of the lord amen amen well i greet you on behalf of apostle and prophet and uh, as i'm just standing in their place and um, um i don't take it lightly and uh, just want to appreciate them and thank them for their ministry in our lives for their ministry in my life when i saw uh, one person i'm gonna uh, well two people i'm gonna acknowledge shortly actually got a bit teary in my eyes because i just remembered that uh, i'm so many years ago so so many years ago we were just uh, brother pussy and sister miranda back then <laughs> And um, years later, the Lord has done amazing things. And um, all of them, these amazing things that we are seeing now, it's a fulfillment. And they started here. It's a fulfillment of prophetic words you received yourself back in the day. And um, well, without any further ado, I would like to, I, I would like us to welcome and acknowledge Evangelist Miranda and Evangelist Steve Mabohwane. I got it right. <laughs> They are visiting us today. I remember the first time I had to talk to her after she was married, I said, Mabongwane. <laughs> and it's actually Mabongwane. Thank you so much. It's so good to see you. I honestly, when I saw you, got a bit teary. I'm like, wow, look at what God has done. So many, many years. And we are here now. And God is moving in our lives. We, we see what God is doing in your life through Facebook and all that. We get to see. And I think I've interviewed you many years ago as well. But we just want to thank God for what he's doing in your life, sir and ma'am. And uh, may the Lord complete and continue to use you as, uh, as, uh, as, as his uh, servants even at this time. I know when we say um, evangelist, one of the things that um, because of the state the body is in now, they're like, oh, evangelist, ah, it's just evangelist. But if you really think about the mighty people, Apostle taught about this, that the evangelists, <laughs> they are the powerhouse that God uses because there, there is this now title thing in the body of Christ where the other, the other, other, other uh, fivefold ministries are seen as lesser or inferior than others. But I just want to say to you, as you are here, an apostle mentioned this and said when he was preaching this message that um, he is praying, he was saying that the Lord will raise those evangelists again. You know, the Ralo Hulela. I know he's a prophet now, but when he was evangelist, Ralo Hulela, your Billy Green, your, um, who are some of the, uh, Bonke, Reynard Bonke. My goodness, the things, the power of God moved in a mighty way through those men of, and women of God. And they were prophetic, there were all these other things, but they just stick, st stuck with the title evangelist. And, uh, but we just, we just pray that the Lord will begin to grant you those mantles and graces that the, this office will begin to be given the necessary respect again through men and women like yourselves in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. Amen. Well, that goes for us as well. Tina, we are pastors. He was like, ah, it's just a pastor. It's a pastor preaching today. I'm not coming. I want a apostle and prophet. Ah, he's a pastor. I know. Hey, but let's go find an apostle in another church. <laughs> and then you miss God. <laughs> Amen. Well, we're just going to get into the word. Uh, please pray for me. Today's message is one of those that I'm like, yes, Lord, you have just hoed me there in the deep end. But we are trusting God for an amazing time in the presence of the Lord. I Today, uh, not that I can preach any other day by myself, but today more than ever, <laughs> I really need the Lord's help even this morning. Amen. And um, I'm not forgetting anybody. Well, greetings to everybody. All protocol observed. And uh, thank you for coming. It's good to see everyone in the house of the Lord. And I mean that. I know sometimes it sounds like what preachers just say, um, please pray for me, as if it's like, you know, like an advert. It's not an advert this time. <laughs> it's a real request, so please pray for me. Because what we need to do this morning, the assignment this morning, is a very, very uh, uh, um, serious assignment. And I'm trusting the Lord that he will help us to be able to articulate what he wants to say in the way that he has said it. I've told you before that one of the greatest challenges of being a preacher or a pastor is that, is that um, well, I just say preacher for now, is that you, when God drops a message in your heart, it comes in a particular way. You're like fire in your own room. You're like, oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. And then now the, the, the challenge is for me to come and try and communicate 
what God has said to me in the way that he has said it. And sometimes we fail short. We go home and we are sometimes depressed. We're like, well, that was a bit flat. It didn't come out the way I thought it would or the way I had it. And you will be blessed because you don't know how I received it. You'll be like, yo, yo, yo. But I'm like, yo, oh, Lord. Yo, but help me next time. Help me next time to do better because we are just trying here to be God's mouthpiece. And uh, so we are just trying uh, that we are trusting the Lord to help us this morning. The title of my message this morning is a very, very interesting title. And I thank God for putting this on. Oh, Apostle, I need to, to, to say this. This is a disclaimer for Apostle and Prophet. I wasn't there on Thursday for the prayer. I was there for uh, Global Prayer Force for the other days. I couldn't be there on Thursday night. And um, on Friday night as well, there was a high-end prayer. I couldn't be there, but I listened to the prayers. And, and wow, so powerful. But those prayers on Thursday and Friday served as a confirmation to me that I need to really share this message. So, Apostle, this is a disclaimer to you that this message was prepared way, way, way before Thursday and Friday. <laughs> and, and uh, well, I received it long before that, but it's, as I've told you before, when the apostle tells me to preach, I always say, Lord, what do you want me to preach? And then most of the time he would drop a title or he will just dictate certain things and give the title after. So this time the title became, I was on the road, he gave me this word, the mountain of the Lord's house. The mountain of the Lord's house. You'll understand why shortly. And we're going to go into that. And I was like, we're having to go deep and understand what is this all about and so on. And you will be blessed this morning in Jesus' name. And I repeat, please pray for me in Jesus' name. All right. The book of Isaiah chapter 2. This particular scripture is found in the book of Isaiah chapter 2 to 3. And also in the book of Micah chapter 4 verse 1, chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. So we will read it in, the, in, the, in Isaiah, Isaiah, and then we'll probably repeat as well um, in Micah, but I just want you to see. And I think the Bible says in the, in the presence of one or two witnesses, a matter will be established. So here's this one. Very interestingly, these two prophets who lived, oh man, I don't want to go into because I'm going to get diverted. The teacher in me is just going to go that way. But th it is said that Isaiah, Isaiah, as you know, the Bible says, and the, 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 um, uh, the day or the day that King Mosiah died, I saw the Lord. Isaiah was serving and was a prophet in the city in terms of in Jerusalem and Micah was a prophet let's just say uh, in Guanongo in KZN but it's still the same <laughs> Israel <laughs> I'm trying to communicate by the way <laughs> so he was a prophet on the other side of town in terms of in the poor side of things and Isaiah was the prophet on the other side of things they didn't seemingly, I don't know, they knew each other, that's not the point. But they began to say this same message. Micah was advocating for the poor and begins to speak. You will, if you read the book of Micah, you'll see how he speaks about how the poor have been taken advantage of, blah, blah, blah. Read it, it's amazing and it's powerful. Not only read it, study it, you'll be blessed. And Isaiah is speaking to the rich people and all those guys who are in the city, like we are in the metropole right now. And something very interesting, I'm passing by here, this is not even part of the message. It is said that... That, um, uh, when you re do research about this, that sin, just like it is here, and it's so true, I don't, I, I don't even doubt this. It is said that sin was beginning to move from Jerusalem into the sin was okay. Let me use this: the womb of sin and destruction and everything was the city, just like it is now. In Jerusalem, all these things were beginning to happen, and as a result, they were also starting to trickle down. La paya guanongom. Uh, in the in the in the in the in the villages thank you because of where it started the trend set us just like okay let's use it even this way let's use it even this way this is going to land nicely the sin was starting in the first world countries usa and the third world countries started adopting the same things same concept and what god did he raised the prophet in the us first world or city whatever posh places and he raised another prophet in the villages, third world, and they were speaking the same message. That shows you how important and how serious this is. And the very interesting thing is that it is almost word for word. Because God was speaking to both groups and he wanted this message to be known and to go out there into Israel. So it says in Isaiah, I'm going to read it in the Amplified. Now it, now it, it, it will come to pass that in the last days, the, the mountain of the house of the Lord will be firmly established as the highest of mountains. Sarabakata. Hey, you will hear just now. Now it shall come to pass that in the last days, just like we quote 
uh, uh, in the last days I will pour out my spirit and your sons and daughters will prophesy, blah, blah, blah. If that is applicable, we use it and say it's now. Even this one, we can say it is now. It is, it is a present and continuous. Yes, there is a house of God that is coming. But there is a house of God that is here right now. So now it shall come to pass that in the last days, the mountain of the house of the Lord will be firmly established as the highest of mountains. You'll hear me now. And, 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 um, and will be exalted above the hills. And all the nations will stream to it. And many people shall come to say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house or the temple of God, of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his path for the law will go forth out from Zion and, and, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Sing Ayekai after that. We can literally go home if you can just take that scripture and understand what God is saying. And here's Micah. Oh man, let me not get, let it get carried away. Here, here it is Micah. In the last days, Micah chapter 4 verse 1, in the last days the mountain of the Lord's house will be established. As chief of the mountains, it will be raised above the hills and the people will stream to it. It, and many nations will come to say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways so that we may walk in his path for the Lord. There it is, identical. If you can read it in the Amplified, it will probably look the same. Here's the word. I'm going to read these things and then I'm going to get into the, 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 the flow. The mountain of the Lord's house will be established. The Bible says it will be established above or firmly above all, and firmly above all the mountains and it will be um, the highest. What we have seen in the body of Christ, oh man, what we've seen in the body of Christ, Holy Spirit, please, I'm just going to go with you. What you've seen in the body of Christ and in the world as it is, even in the church, you're realizing that all the other mountains have been seen as the important mountains. You know, the spheres of influence, media, in, whatever, all those things. I don't want to get into them. All those mountains. And many are worshipping those mountains. But the word of the Lord says to us as the body of Christ this morning, the time has come for the mountain of the Lord's house to be exalted high above all the other mountains. And what's going to happen is that nations will begin to flock to that mountain because it is that mountain that has all the solutions. There are strategies, there are things God has placed on this mountain. And the body of Christ has been doing, going to and from, being tossed to and fro, Worshipping all these other mountains and not knowing that the, you have the mountain. The mountain that has the DNA of what God wants to do in the nations and in the world. The church has been reduced to something, an, a nice organization where we come, we sing and we go home. But I'm here to announce to us and I'm here to make an announcement from this gateway that the mountain of the Lord is being exalted. You will see it with your eyes. You will experience it if you truly believe what God is saying. What has happened also, um, uh, this is from Thursday, Friday, is that the, 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 what you call the fake has went ahead and tainted anything that has to do with the mountain of the Lord. Say church out there, what do people say? But it is because the enemy is putting stigma on the mountain of the Lord, the DNA. That is going, the DNA, <laughs> okay, let me call it this way, COVID, uh, uh, the carrier of the DNA. The church of the Lord is the carrier of the blueprint of God, of what he wants to do in the nations. And what we have done, we have exalted cars and all these things. There's nothing wrong with them. But we have begun to worship at those mountains. You are willing to spend 1,500 hours there, but you don't want to spend one hour here. You're already looking at your watch. What is Pumanini? 
I've got golf. But you don't realize you are at the peak of the mountains. It's the highest of them all. That God has appointed that through this mountain, nations will be saved. Man, things that even, current, you, they don't tell us. They don't tell us. They don't tell us. The very mountains you are worshipping in, they've got secret meetings where they're like, guys, these things are going down. But we can't tell the people that things are going down. So we'll just keep telling them, no, it's okay, it's okay. Escom, no, it's stage one. Don't worry. Two weeks later, stage three. No, no everything, everything is fine. Everything is fine. And that's, some, that's, that's exactly where some, some are worshipping every day. Every day, Escom, Escom, Escom. Hey. They don't want to be here. But La Paya, things are, things, things, things are not as good as the world is making it to seem. Things are not as good as the G12 and the G whatever. And everybody, they're having their own secret meetings and we don't know what they're discussing and whatever, whatever. And, but I'm just here to say, okay, David, come back. The mountain of the Lord is being exalted. And you will see it with your own eyes. And I am, I am, I, I have purpose in my heart that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will be part of what God is doing. You need to purpose in your own heart that you and your household, you will serve the Lord at the mountain of the Lord. Hallelujah. The church is one entity that has been legally and legitimately appointed by God to facilitate his purposes on the earth. The Bible says, Jesus said, upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Okay, let me show you that the church is the one. The Bible says that Christ is, of course, raising his bride, which is you and I. But the bride, you cannot... Uh, <laughs> Jesus is not going to marry a Ben 10, man. <laughs> so Jesus, if, 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 okay, okay, hold it. Let's go back to the Bible. What did Jesus do when he was here? He wasn't doing some of the things that we are busy doing here. Jesus showed strictly that he came to demonstrate the kingdom of God. When he saw a devil, he dealt with it. When he saw things, situations where there was a lack, there was no money, he says, Peter, go into the fish of the, uh, go to the mouth of the fish, you'll find a coin. He created creative miracles. When there was a situation, when there was a woman with the issue of blood, having been there for many, many years, 12 years, I think it says, he put an end to that cycle. When there were issues in different spaces, when there was insufficiency, five loaves and two fish, when he saw that, when he saw that, he began to deal with it and he began to multiply. And when the Bible tells us that as soon as he was done, there were still leftovers from the multiplication that Jesus did. So church, wife, wife of Jesus, why aren't you doing these things? Wife of Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Bay. <laughs> We are Jesus Bay. <laughs> Bay, why are you not doing these things like your hubby? Like your hubster, like they call them now. Hubster showed you what we are here for. Demonstrated, showed it, and, 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 and walked it. And he says, greater things you are going to do. When hubster was in town, Jesus, the kingdom back then, the Roman Empire was against him. But now we seem to be in bed with the Roman Empire. The Bible says, when Jesus was born, okay, here's the other side of that same coin. When Jesus was born, the uh, Herod went and wanted to kill every young, every baby from the age of two, I think, and under. That shows you the extent that Herod wanted to go to to make sure that the kingdom of God does not penetrate into the world through Christ. And I will not be surprised that the same applies because sometimes we be, we, we're just looking and we're looking with a carnal eye. We're just having nice church. It's nice. But that's not who we are. We are first a spiritual entity. We are ones who are, who are beginning, who are supposed to, who are supposed to say, wait a minute, there's a lot of kidnappings happening in this country. What's going on? Where did this demon, where are they coming in from? And shut down that operation in the spirit. Because all things start there. It's first the spirit. We're the sleeping church. 
But this morning, in the name of Jesus, we declare that the church of a living God is waking up and is arising. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are supposed to be enforcing the defeat of the enemy. Apostle normally says this. The devil was kicked out of heaven, and we are the prison warders who are supposed to make sure that he stays in his place. But the prison warders are busy. Uh, oh, 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 oh here, here, here it is. Here's a parallel based on what's happening in South Africa. The prison warders are sleeping with the devil, the prisoner. The prison warder is even smuggling things to the prisoner. The prison warder, you and I, we even give him the devil information. Oh, let me show you what I mean. Sister so and so. Yeah, she has boy problems, boy problems. And the devil goes and begins to, to make up a, a, a weapon for Sister so and so. Isn't that partnering with the prisoner? We are. All the things we begin, we are doing, these kind of things that we are doing, and hurting each other and doing whatever, we are partnering with the prisoner that we are supposed to be holding captive that he must stop destroying lives. Those are just off ramps. <laughs> the world is not offering hope, Pastor Ngumisa, but the house of the Lord has been established that it will be that place that will offer hope to the nations and to the people of God. The Bible says that Jesus saw them, they were like sheep uh, needing a shepherd. They were just looking lost, and it is exactly the state of the world. Everybody's just, hey, so we're not going. We'll see. Things that defy logic will be resolved on this mountain. There are things that God, levels of things that God wants to begin to deal with from this mountain. God's kind of solutions will proceed from this mountain. The waters for the healing of the nations will proceed from this mountain. From this mountain, rivers, streams will flow for the healing of the nations. It's time for divine alignment with the chief cornerstone. The Bible says that the chief cornerstone, I've also preached this message back in the day, long time ago, that the chief cornerstone, before there was this kind of foundation that we do, was a big stone that had to be put at the first, at the found, that was the foundation of the, of the building. I wanted to show the picture, but you can check it out yourself. It is a big stone carved, and it's put there, and every other stone that is going to be built, to be put up on that building, has to be exactly aligned. If it's off, that building stands the chance of collapsing. What am I saying with that? That we as the body of Christ, we as the church, the mountain of the Lord's house, and we are the people who are in that mountain, we need to begin to get back into alignment with the chief cornerstone. Chief cornerstone, like 90 degree, not 89, 70, mang, mang, I, I'm not so bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm around there. Alignment with the head. And we are going to begin to see a revival like never before. We are going to see God begin to do mighty things like never before. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> this is just the first course. <laughs> We're coming. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says, So now through the church, so now through the church in the Amplified, Ephesians 3.20. So now through the church, the, manifest, uh, the multifaceted wisdom of God in all its countless aspects might, be, uh, might now be made known, revealing the mystery to the angelic rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. Uh, in, 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 I think in the King James it says so that the manifold wisdom of God may be uh, 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 revealed or demonstrated through the church. Before it, ladies and gentlemen, we haven't seen anything. We have not even started in terms of what God wants to do with the body of Christ. And I'm just saying this to provoke you. I'm just saying this to stir up a hunger in you and me to begin to say, Lord, what is this thing? What are these purposes that you, if you really think about it, I'm going to say something now. If you're not guilty, it's okay. If it's an ouch, it's an amen, it's fine. Uh, I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> Here it is. How many of us really, really, really deep down in our hearts 
And I can tell you now, I don't know the statistics, but I can tell you, Justin Che, based on the behavior of Bazalwanis, that uh, I can tell you the answer in terms of where the majority lies. How many of us, for real, for real, in our innermost being, you were born again yesterday, or you've got 20 or 30 years being born again. How many of us, deep down in here, really, 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 even online, really, really, really say, God, what are your purposes, though? And what's my role in that? Like, for real, for real. Just be honest and tell God the truth and don't tell me. I can tell you based on our behavior and our posture and our, how we carry ourselves as the body of Christ that most of us are not interested in the purposes of God. We are interested in what God is going to give us. But if there was a church that's like, Lord, do it. You said, you said South Africa revival is coming. Lord, where is it? it? It seems like the opposite is happening. Father, we pray for revival. Who, who, who honestly, honestly, in your own prayer time without Apostle putting it as a prayer item, do you really just one day in your own, before you go to work, you're like, Lord, fulfill your purposes for this nation. Lord, fulfill your promise. Lord, how long, how long? Africa, Lord. For real, for real, not, not, not the one that you saw in a prayer item somewhere. Like, do we honestly, as the church of the living God, are we really, really interested in the purposes of God for real? Or we are interested in what God really can do for us? And there is nothing wrong with that. I'm just trying to speak of a posture that a mature bride, the Bible says a true son is about his father's business. So if we are truly sons, the Bible says, Yekate, the, the whole creation is waiting for the manifestation of the true sons of God. It's groaning. It's been year after year after year. What's the percentage of the true sons who are like, I am about, yes, I am in that mountain, but I am in that mountain with a different mindset and a different mentality. I understand like Daniel and, uh, and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, yes, I am in Babylon in that mountain, whatever it is, but I understand that I'm in this mountain. I will not let the mountain influence me, but I'm going to influence the mountain. But most of us have been influenced by the, even our homes have been influenced by the mountains or the pop culture. Well, there's a mountain of family, by the way. But the Lord is saying that he is beginning to exalt or he has exalted the mountain of the Lord's house to be above all the other mountains. And nations, governments will come to it. But are you willing to be a Daniel? Are you willing to be a Joseph economic strategy? Are you willing to be a Daniel interpret mysteries, things that they don't even know how to fix? But we will be able to come and say, we know how to fix this. Do this, do this, do this. Uh, this is what you need. This is, this is a strategy. Because we downloaded it in the spirit. When we realize that there's hijackings that are increasing, we just say, yo, hey, let me put three more alarms. Yo, let me let yo, hey, 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 let me get that panic thing so that if they happen to uh, hijack me, I just press my panic. Instead of saying, wait a minute, we are supposed to be a legislative people. How did this thing get in here? Lord, how do we stop this in the mighty and begin to pray through, pray it out and see it just like it was a headline that crime has increased. You see there's a headline that crime has decreased and we're like, yes, we are doing our job. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. I'm telling you, even if it's just us in this room, just, just, just us in this room right now, if we can truly be serious about the purposes of God and begin to say, Lord, I am gonna, I'm enlisting in your army to allow and to disallow. You can count on me, oh God. As you are driving there and there's accidents, you, you mustn't say, yo, GPS, which route? No, you're like, what? There's too many accidents on this road. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of death. We destroy every altar that is causing accidents on this road. Instead of changing the route, Mzalwane, you go into that route and you begin to affect the kingdom change in that route. In that route. Aye, church of the living God, it's time to grow up. It's time. You're going to get the car, don't worry. Or ask Solomon. 
Solomon goes to God and God, after sacrificing, and God says to him, I want to show you that your greatest worry, Mzalwani, that car, I yeah, know it's your greatest worry. Solomon is asked, what do you want? And Solomon had needs, I believe. Whatever it is, he's a king. Maybe he just said whatever what the need is of a king. I don't know. And I'm sure Solomon had an opportunity to say to God, hey, man, you know, if you can just increase my gold, man. Hey, the gold is, is a bit low, man. Oh, I need a wife or whatever. But Solomon begins to look what Solomon asks for. He says, Father, I just ask that you give me wisdom to lead your people. He begins to be more concerned about God's purpose. And what does God do is like, because you've asked that, I will give you what you didn't ask, but you really wanted it. So the car, the house, all those things that we are look, looking for. Uh, by the way, as I'm saying that, I'm not talking as one who does it. I also want them. I also want them. I've said it before. I want a good life too. I don't want to worry that the petrol, I won't have enough petrol until the end of the month. No, I don't want that. But the Lord is saying, just like Solomon, as we begin to seek him. Okay, let's come back. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. There it is. But we say it, but we don't leave it. But I'm saying body of Christ, for what God is about to do, Oh, man, Apostle began to say in one of the Training for Reigning uh, uh, sessions that um, you know, Catherine Kuhlman and all these people we adore, admire, admire who walked in the power of God were just God trying to show us what's possible. But we have stood back and like, yo, that's amazing. Yo, they are great. Yo, yo, yo. But God was saying, hey, 12 spies. Well, well I mean, there were 10, 10 spies. Whatever, they are, whatever the number, I'm not getting the number correct. Those spies who went to, into the land and say the land is good. These people whom we talk about who moved in the power of God were the, like the, the spies who were sent into the land to say the land does exist. There is a land of the supernatural. It, it exists. The land of supernatural provision. It exists. They were just sent by God and given access to go ahead of us so that you and I, as we come now, we've got a reference. We don't only say it according to the Bible. We say, bakona, bakona, spazio. right here on this earth who walked this thing. So if they could do it and they lived in South Africa, I can also be enlisted in the book of God to be able to experience and to be used by God in those levels. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. There are manifold wisdom of God that God wants to begin to do. There are people that God wants to deliver. There are people God wants to begin to set free. And there are so many things that God wants to do. But he is waiting for a people. Matthew 22 verse, uh, let's see. Yes, okay, this is, and the, here it is. Okay, this is a beautiful one. Matthew 21 verse 42 says, Jesus asked them, Have you never read the scripture, the very stone which the builders rejected and threw away has become the chief cornerstone? This is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in his sight. Lord Jesus, in God's, in the God <laughs> who was here in eternity past and he will be there in eternity to come. In God's best plan is Jesus. It's God's best, best plan. Is the ultimate plan. It is through him that everything else will be unlocked. Oh, and the mountain of the Lord's house, which he is building, will be exalted just as he is exalted. Are you getting something? Hallelujah. Okay, I won't explain that because we need to, yeah, okay, cool, we need to rush. Luke 24 verse 32 says, oh, okay, let's, 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 let's hold it here. <laughs> okay, yeah, when I was checking this um, uh, uh, um, cornerstone thing, no, let's leave it, it's going to take time. It, oh, when, when I was checking this, this cornerstone thing, there is also, the cornerstone is also used um, interchangeably with another word called the capstone. Apostle once preached about this. There's cornerstone and there's a capstone. The cornerstone is the one I explained that it sits there at the bottom. It makes sure that the building stands. And there's something else called the capstone in an arch. Whenever you see at the door and there's that, uh, is it arch? I hope I said that right. 
Mlume Slungu. And that thing there, <laughs> there is a stone that they call, they call it a capstone. It is put last. And it is very significant to keep that entire building from falling together. And Jesus is both the cornerstone and the capstone. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. He is the alpha and the omega. He is at the beginning of the building and he is also at the top. He holds the church together. He holds everything together. The Bible says he holds all things together by the word of his power. I, should, uh, I thought I should just drop it. That one. Luke 24, 32. They said to one another, we are, go we are coming, I'm coming now. You, 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 you'll be blessed if you haven't been blessed already. But Usazobus is saying, hallelujah, amen. <laughs> man, what a mighty man of God there. Luke 24, 32. They said to one another, we are, uh, oh, okay, 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 here, yeah, yeah, here, here it is. Where, 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 where not our hearts, and oh, okay, now let me start saying, because I know her, she's uh, a, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, the song. They said to one another, we're not our hearts burning within us while he was talking with us on the road and opening the scriptures to us. Oh, I'm about to say something, something, but this is a state that God is taking the church, restoring the church to. The Bible says as these guys were walking with Jesus, they say, were not our hearts burning as he was speaking and opening the scriptures to us. And here's, here, here's what the Lord revealed to me about this, or oh, to say today. The church has lost this thing. People come to the house of God. They hear whatever I'm busy saying. And they never leave their hearts burning for God. If, if when I say amen and I'm done, your heart is not burning for God, I failed. I failed. You need, we need to leave the mountain of the house of the Lord with our hearts burning. Because the Bible tells us when the word himself was walking with the people, when the true word, which is, was Jesus, there is no way you will come into contact with the word, the truth, and your heart does not burn. The fact that the body of Christ is, is, is de de deteriorating, we should need to check our messages. We need to begin to go check. What are we preaching? Are we still preaching the genuine, uh, infallible word of God clean that makes the hearts of the people burn? We are surprised when the people are are we still preaching the word of God that makes the hearts of the people burn? Tina, well, some of us, Tina, mina, okay, I'm just going to confess. We're assemblies of God. They've got their things, but so. <laughs> and I'm from Faith Mission as well, so I'm, I'm from these Pentecostal churches. And one thing that I can tell you guys, we can tell, we can say all the things we want to say about them. I am they stick to the word. And you will begin to see, okay, 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 this is arguably, arguably. You will see it with the caliber of Bazalwan. When you see umama wa ase assemblies, ya maazlo, yeah, 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 you ase assemblies lo. Uso, uso, u, yeah, liti ni izwi. When are you going to tell me what uh, Mark Zickerberg says? Oh, but Mark Zickerberg said, you know. No, 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 no. But Mark, come on. Come on. I'm telling you, Mark, I said, by believing. You tell me about Zickerberg. There is something that, as much as they've got their own things, and, and we're not there, but there is something, and I know it because I'm from there. And the reason I have been born again since 1998 till today, I can, without any shadow of doubt, and Apostle and them are, are very instrumental because they came in on my teen, teen years. But I told him, Bill, Tina, we were just, I think I've said this, I don't have to say it again. We just came because we are going to hell. You need Jesus, get saved. That's it. You need a savior. But now over time, 
in our attempt to try to 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 to, uh, um, to win people or acclimatize, acclimatize and to be uh, so yeah, socially relevant, has have we lost the word that may because they best she's at Tinema. Tina best she open air. You know, sometimes I'm like, hey, we see at NHC sometimes. Right now, Saturday, we're supposed to be there with these speakers here at the taxi rank next door. Say to Ujasu Yapilisa, hey, I used to sin, but God did a wonderful work in my life. Hey, Wapilisa Mshato, my marriage. Hey, God did this. And I'm not saying we should use that particular method, but I'm trying to show you. Some of you now, if I can say, let's go now. Okay, hey, speakers, speakers, let's just go outside. You will see all the people like, yes, see what are the people going to say. <laughs> And I, no, let me take it to the next level. I'm gonna say we're gonna stream it live on Facebook. <laughs> you will see people running. But let me give you a mic. Yeah, yeah, show, 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 show. Hey, hey, let's go, mic next door. Let's go there. Taxi rank, and go tell them your testimony. There was something you would get born again today. They don't say, "Ah, oh, you are still young." Tomorrow you are testifying. 10 years in NHC. We've never, we don't even know if they know how to talk. We don't even know the sound of their voice. Good to a testimony, next. Good to a prayer request, next. Oh, oh, let me tell you, we don't even know your voice on WhatsApp. Ha! Ah, yeah, something's wrong. His old songs, uh, well, we are not, I know it's not a religion. It says, give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It is good enough for me. I look young, but hey. Bang Shoshi, back then. I was telling Butler now, like, even when I saw Miranda, I'm like, oh, actually, I was telling uh, Pastor Kumisa as well, because we're we from the same thing back home. And, uh, excuse me, and, and, and I was like, I don't know, these days, hi, man, like, I'm just, I don't know, it's like every time I'm, I'm trying to get into a moment, some old, old songs, old, old songs. That just had so much, so much meaning. Utandolu, utandolu, kababa. Luje ngolwa, luje ngolwa, lebo. Lubanzilu, lubanzilu, chulile. Oh, I say, I I see a lot of people like, what? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh, and everyone lights up. <laughs> uh, but there's something there. And we don't write those anymore. An apostle, I remember, was saying, have you noticed that we don't have a lot? People now are writing a lot of songs about us. We no longer write those songs that, hey, hey, let's come back, let's come back. Hey, okay, whew, okay. For the next part, um, I'm just hot, not, uh, not because of any other thing. Yeah. It's figuratively speaking, I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> If you didn't catch it, it's okay. <laughs> All right, Ecclesiastes, now, now, now. Let's go, let's go now, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to just preach quickly for the next few minutes. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, we are, we're moving to the second part of this message, which is very, very important for you and I. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse... Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 4 to 8 says... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share something that we, that we as the body of... Oh, sorry. I'm going to share something that we as the body of Christ are supposed to be dealing with. And uh, the Lord just laid this for us to deal with it this morning. This morning we are dealing with this part. Because when you come to the mountain of the Lord, it shouldn't just be, well, how was the service? It was nice. No, no, no. Something's wrong. The service mustn't just be nice. You must live here. You must burn hot within. Whew. 
listen to this one. Listen to this, Lord, help me now. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 4. Listen to what it says. If the spirit of the ruler rises against you, do not leave your post. For uh, conciliation or reconciliation uh, pacifies great offenses. And this is the part. Oh, Lord, guys, 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 hold on to your seat because we're going to need to pray and engage right about now. There is an evil I have seen under the sun as an error proceeding from the ruler. Foley is set in the great, in, uh, is set in, uh, sorry, 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 Foley is set in great dignity while the rich sit in a lowly place. I have seen servants on horses while princes walk on the ground like servants. He who digs a pit, okay, I just included, he who digs a pit will fall into it and whoever breaks through a wall will be bitten by a serpent. Pastor Lord, we need to deal with this thing. This scripture says, fools, there's an error under the earth. Sometimes something is wrong. And you and I know that this is true because we probably experience it in our life. We are claiming that we are the head, and, but we, we are not the tail. We are claiming that we are above only, and we are not beneath. But Uma Ucheka is into the way they are sitting. There is an error. What God says should be happening is the opposite. What is supposed to be on the left is on the right. What's supposed to be on the right is on the left. But the Lord has raised up the mountain of the Lord, the church, to be able to bring correction to some of these things. And this is one of them. There is an error that has happened. You are not living your life. Somebody is living your life. The Bible says that servants are on horses and, and, and kings are walking on foot. That is an error and we need to correct it as the people of the living God. I spoke about some of the errors. There are things that are happening in the nation. It's an error. We need to fix it. But this morning in particular, we're going to deal with this error. Where some people, you, 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 you I don't know, you, you, Apostle would say, you've got so many degrees more than a thermostat. But your life doesn't show. It's an error. I need to the system has been set up that the more you are hot in degrees, you are supposed to do better in life. But what's going on? We need to fix this. In the heavenlies. Good for those when we no, we say, pray, my sister, hold on in faith. Do this, do this. But things are just going the other way. It's an error. We need to fix this error. Some of you, your lives have been going on like angas. I don't even know what description to give your life. It's an error. And the mountain of the Lord <laughs> has been designed to deal with such errors. Some of these errors are generational, yes. Some of them, you don't even know why you are going through what you're going through. You, you, you've done every, you, you do well interviews. They're like, we like you, but. Hi, ah, it's an error. And the one who did not do that well gets the job. What's going on? There is an error that needs to be fixed. And some of us have just said, ah, in this is but we need to begin to fix it. How can the will of God say you are the head and not the tail? But you are a tail in all areas of your life. It's an error. We need to fix that error by the spirit of a living God. There are yokes that need to be destroyed this morning by reason of the anointing. There are things that God needs to begin to change. There's an error. Your career whatever, whatever, you can go into any area your family, city, but you are the, you fight the more than unbelievers, there is an error that needs to be fixed you apply when you don't get replies um to apply once gets options, you, I, they just said I can choose, same level, same level, but when Eako gets overlooked there is an error that we need to fix and you are at the right place at the mountain of the Lord. 
This is where we fix things in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the altar of the Lord, where the Lord begins to alter lives. Altar. We, we, we are, we, right now as I'm speaking, the Lord is doing alterations in your destiny, in your life, in your family. Whenever you come into this place, come for alterations. Right here at the altar of the Lord. Oh, but let me add it, let me add let me add You need to also have your own altar in your own house because that is where God does altar, altar, alterations. That's where he alters lives. And that is why we call you to the altar call for your life to be changed. So we are praying today. We are going to pray in a moment because there are things that need to be changed. There are things that need to be changed. The Bible says in Psalms 92 verse 10, but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn or of a wild ox. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Hey, abanye betu yo yo si atwa bezela. Kundi ni se anointa matuta nge oil. But things are not changing. It's an error. There is an error. The Bible says, let me just, I'm not going to go into that scripture. When Hannah, oh, well, you're going to get it even now. Uh, talking about it, your horn being exalted. The Bible says when Hannah, because I need to rush, when, uh, um, um, when Hannah was uh, uh, not having children and uh, he, her life was just going and she was a laughing stock to Penina. When the Lord had, okay, let's, let's, oh, Kabatala, uh, Jesus. Where did Hannah get her breakthrough? How did it happen? Do you remember? She went to the house of the Lord, a priest of God, spoke a word to her life. Man, just go read. I don't want, I'm going to divert if I go there. But the Bible says that Eli came and said to, her, to Hannah, God. it means Eli was still in line with God at the time. It's, it's not after Samuel. He was still the priest. You know, almost Eli went south after Samuel was born. It's not stated. Come back. Um, Eli says to Hannah, you're drunk or whatever. And Hannah says, no, my, my whatever. I am not drunk. I've just been praying because I need a breakthrough. I need God to come through. I am a laughing stock of my city or my home. My horn has not been exalted, but instead my horn has been uh, decreased. Or oh, what's the opposite of exalted? Whatever. Give me that word if you can. If my horn has not been exalted. And you will see her response. And this is what happened, family. And I pray that the Lord will begin to bring this fear of God again into the body of Christ. Eli says to her, one way, he didn't shakata hai, he, he didn't korokota he, he didn't say anything. He just said, let the Lord do unto you according to your request and the breakthrough that she has been waiting for for years her enemies were giving birth to children one two three four whatever and one word from a real priest of god and i believe the lord is raising again real servant of the lord who will carry this torch with dignity who will carry this torch without scandals who will carry this torch with fear and trembling who will carry this torch with fear and trembling and it shall be known the very genuine from the fake and that's all eli says to him to her and from that hannah comes back of course with her with her with her baby the gift that the lord has blessed her with and the bible says in the book of first Samuel chapter 2 and hannah prayed and said my my heart rejoiceth in the lord my horn is exalted in the lord oh catch that my horn is not exalted anywhere else it is exalted in the lord my mouth is enlarged over mine enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. But I need you to understand what the, the metaphor of an of a, of a exalted horn speaks about. It is said that this metaphor, so that you understand what I'm saying, that this metaphor of an exalted horn comes from an image of a bull um, lifting up its horn after winning a battle. So Hannah, when she says, my horn has been, has been exalted, it means, you it's been rough, but I finally... Finally, finally, after winning a battle, the, um, um, they raised horn in a common biblical symbol of victory, especially being rescued from oppression and uh, um, 
This, the horn represents strength, power, and victory. So when we are talking about your horn being exalted this morning, because we're going to pray, we are talking about you being lifted from depression, from failure, from defeat, that the Lord will begin to lift up your horn and raise your horn like that of a unicorn, that he will begin to exalt you. When your horn has been exalted, they choose your CV. When your horn has been exalted, you have a prayer life. When your horn has been exalted, your life changes for real. When your horn has been exalted, you move from being barren to having a prophet as a son. When your horn has been exalted. Let me give you a couple of scriptures about the horn be exalted because we are going to engage now. Uh, in the book of Genesis, okay, listen to this one. So Abraham named that place, Genesis twenty two fourteen. So Abraham named that place, the Lord will provide. And it is said to this day, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be seen uh, provisional. In the mountain of the Lord, it will already be provided. The Lord just gave me this scripture to say, we are speaking about the mountain of the Lord, the Lord's house. And listen to what the Abraham says in this scripture. On the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. Ah, you missed it. On the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. The title of the message is the mountain of the Lord's house. That the Lord is raising high above all the other mountains. And the Lord says to you and I, it is on that mountain that I will have already provided. What that scripture is saying to us, that the provision is already there. It needs people who will engage with the mountain. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's we'll engage with the God of the mountain. Let's people start worshiping churches. And Psalm 89 verse 17 says, For thou art the glory and the strength, and, and their strength. And in thy favor, uh, our horns shall be exalted. Psalm 89, 24. My faithfulness and my loving kindness will be with him. And in my name, his horn, in my name, they will cast out devils. In my name, they will do such and such. Listen to what it says. In my name, his horn will be exalted. In my name, your horn, in my name, in Jesus' name, your horn will be exalted. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just pray in the spirit for about a minute or so. We're about to engage. Shatala Bahaya. If you don't have anything to pray for, pray for me. I, I, I've got some errors to fix. In the name of Jesus. I'm here to tell you this morning. That you have been handpicked by God to begin to break certain cycles in your bloodline, in your family, in this nation, in your own personal life. You have been handpicked by God to be the one that is going to break the cycle. Ask Gideon when God came to him and said, mighty men of valor. He's like, God, I don't know what you're talking about. Me, are you sure? He's like, yes, you. Yes, you. You are the one God has selected. You are the one that whose hand, who, who, whom God has, who's, who's, um, um, you are the one whom the finger of God has pointed to. Yes, you might be insignificant. You might think you don't have all the, the, all the qualifications as we would probably put it. But I'm here to tell you that today, the Lord is here to say to you, you are the one that he has chosen to begin to deal with certain things in your bloodline, in your family, in this particular nation. We're going to pray, pray for those three categories just now. Come on, man, in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray for those three categories in the name of Jesus. There are things we need to begin to deal with. There are some errors we need to fix in our families. There are errors you need to fix in your family. There are errors you need to fix in your personal life. There are some errors we need to fix in the nation. And you and I are the people. Don't look at yourself and say, how shall this be? This is exactly what Mary asked. 
and I'm giving you an answer. This is what the Holy Spirit, the angel said to Mary. The power of the Most High shall come upon you and you will conceive a child. So I'm saying to you today, the power of the Most High shall come onto you and you will conceive the purposes of God and you will give birth to the purposes of God. I don't know how, I don't know how, but I know it is connected to the mountain of the Lord. It is connected to the altar. It is connected to your prayer, but you will give birth. The spirit of a living God will come upon you and begin to cause you to begin to do great things for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's stand. We are about to pray. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. You have been handpicked by God to tend the tie in your family. Some of you, as I am speaking, you know I'm talking about you. You know this is a reflection of your life. Can you please sing victory belong to Jesus? You know that I'm talking to you. You know that your life has been, has been stagnant or has not been moving any direction. You know you're doing everything right, but it doesn't make sense. When it doesn't make natural sense, it's spiritual, baby. If you've got a pain, the scan can't find it. The CMI, what, what, can't find it. The doctor can't find it. The physio, everybody in this world can't find it. It's spiritual. You need to engage with it in the heavenlies and begin to bind it where it, be, it is, where it is being engineered. Yes, you need to deal with it where it is being, deal with the source. The source is spiritual. You, 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 you know your business is good. You know you're good, man. But why are you not progressing? Avare Joe is progressing. We're not Tololo. Something has to change. There is an error that the Lord needs to fix in the mighty name of Jesus. And this morning, in the name of the name of the in the name of in the name of Jesus. Come on now, in Jesus' name. We pray now in the name of Jesus. We're gonna start here. Let it, oh, here it is, here it is. The Lord, I was driving to work this morning and the Lord began to say to me as cycles of diminishing returns. Cycles of diminishing returns. But because I'm a teacher in my other, my pr primary gift, I guess I am a teacher. I'm like, but Lord, that's an economic thing. There's a law of uh, diminishing returns. So I go check out, I'm like, connection. And the Lord begins to say, some of us, have just been experiencing cycles of diminishing returns. It doesn't matter how much you put in. What you get does not... You just... You, you do so much, but you get back so little. It's when the devil has engineered an altar that is speaking against you and it is affecting your returns. But this morning, in the name of Jesus, we are going to pray against cycles of diminishing returns. We are going to pray against cycles of diminishing returns. You do everything perfectly, spot on. And, but what comes out, you're like, but that's not what I baked. The devil is a liar. We are fixing those errors this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're going to lift our voices. We're going to pray for three items and I'm done. The first one is this one. We are binding and coming against demonic altars that are perpetuating cycles of diminishing returns. You got that? Cycles of diminishing returns where things don't come back the way you want them to be. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's... Um, oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Come, come, come. Stop. Yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, diminish means to decrease, decline, reduce, lessen, shrink. And we oh, kabasheta. This is for someone. I need to say it. To diminish as well also means to make look less. To make to seem less. You are the best in your industry, but in the eyes of the decision makers you are made to look less than your competitors or everybody else but we are binding that devil this morning 
we are declaring that our horn is exalted like that of a unicorn that the lord is removing all oppression the lord is removing anything that is unlike god we are binding every every cycle in the name of jesus we are creating new cycles of growth cycles of increase cycles of increase 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 in the name of jesus if you don't want it pray for me in the name of jesus lift your voice Thank you, Jesus. Maka televeka ha, sheka tala mamanti, raka tala mandere he, sheka televeka randere he, raka tala mamanti, raka televeka sa. In the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, we bind every satanic and demonic work of darkness in Jesus' name that has been engineered from demonic altars in Jesus' mighty name, wherever it is being, O oh God, perpetuated from this morning. From this altar, we decree and declare, the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We loose God's people this morning. Be loosed in the name of Jesus from every demonic agenda in the name of Jesus. Be loosed from every demonic influence in the name of Jesus. We loose your, your thing in the name of Jesus. Katole kasea, raka selemea, raka solemenda, janda lava kate, raka tala mamantelehe, saka tole mebe katala maha, janda lava katelea, raka tole behea. Victory belongs to Jesus. There is no other place where we can run. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it in the name of Jesus. Ye katala ha, re katole mea kase, jakatala maha. In the name of Jesus, we bind every strong man, we bind every demonic force, oh God, in Jesus, of diminishing returns. In the name of Jesus, over Gateway Church, in the name of Jesus, over New Africa, Gateway Church, we bind it in Jesus' name. We nullify its operation in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare increase in the name of Jesus. Increase in the name of Jesus. Increase in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Come on, come on, come on. Yakataya. Who can stand? Who can pass them? Who can stand against the Lord? Faster. Victory belongs to Jesus. Declare it in your heart. There is no other name. Oh, oh, oh. That is all we've been given. Come on, let's move on to the next one. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Yes, yes, yes. Now we're going to pray against this one. Uh, Matthew chapter 22, O Kabaste, verse 23 to 29 says, The same day the Sadducees, oh, uh, yo, yo, this is for you. The same day the Sadducees, who say in their, um, um, sorry, who say there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him, saying, Teacher, Moses said, if a man dies, just take it down a little bit, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up offspring for his brothers. Now there were um, these, uh, sorry, now there were with us seven brothers. The first died after he had married and having no offspring, left his wife to his brother. Likewise, the second died and the third, even to the seventh, even to the seventh 
that's a cycle in that family that something just keeps happening and happening and happen i took time and looked in my family i'm like wait a minute let me just observe scan Zzz. what just keep repeating itself in this family i tell you now it's there you've got some cycle somewhere you need to ask the holy spirit to give you visual uh whatever insight to begin to identify these cycles because if you don't identify them you will always be the tail by reason of a cycle which is a script in IT when you want to change something in the back room or whatever you put a script and in front this thing will continue to do whatever the script is saying there are scripts pertaining to your life that the demonic forces have put out there that yeah it's fine she can she can sing she can shout she can but there is a script this thing she will not go beyond a particular place she will not gain before beyond a particular place you will just remain there but today in the name of jesus we are uploading new scripts in the name of jesus oh, oh listen to the script we are uploading the bible says in the volume of the books it is written of me we are beginning to upload that which is written in the heavenlies to begin to work as a new cycle a new cycle in our families in the name of Jesus. You know your sister is experiencing what your grandmother experienced. You know your, your mother is experiencing what your great-grandmother. You know, you know, you've seen it. You need to begin to deal with those cycles. Otherwise, they remain there. But this morning, the Lord has chosen you to be the one who is going to break and turn the tie. In the name of Jesus, let us lift our voices. Katoleba kasala maha. She katala we are breaking every cycle of the bloodline in the name of Jesus father in the name of Jesus by the speakings of the blood of Jesus we break every cycle in my family in the name of Jesus we break every cycle in your children's families in the name of Jesus Lord by the superior blood by the superior authority in the name of Jesus we declare that every cycle is broken in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah we need to do this last one because of time we are breaking negative cycles negative national cycles of deterioration there are demonic altars wherever they are coming from that are speaking our against our nation and let me explain to you what i mean so that you get it and you pray with understanding the um, deterioration is a process of becoming progressively worse isn't that the state of our nation in 2010 we're like yo oh, they stole a million now it's like it's getting worse and worse and worse so it's a cycle of deterioration that the enemy is whether through demonic altar somewhere there are people chanting there are people speaking there are people engineering but wherever they are whatever it may be we are breaking every cycle of deterioration that is becoming progressively worse and here's the second word of every cycle of erosion that means gradually destroying or being destroyed that we, we we like everyone is saying like hey we are gonna be like Zimbabwe what's it yo the way things are going that is a cycle that even we are as people in the nation are speaking into our nation we are not going there we are declaring in the name of Jesus that we are reversing every cycle in the name of Jesus that this nation is becoming better and better there is less load shedding to no load shedding in the name of Jesus we are declaring with we are binding every demonic oh God in Jesus name every demonic cycle of deterioration listen to the scripture Psalm 31 Psalm 31 verse 12 says blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord the people he has chosen as his inheritance but listen to verse 10 the Lord will nullify the plans of nations and he frustrates the plans of the people the plan of the Lord stands forever the plan of his heart from generation to generation 
Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. And listen to Job chapter 5, verse 12 says, He frustrates and he frustrates the devices and schemes of crafty, uh, of the crafty, so that their hand cannot attain success or achieve anything or of lasting worth. And I would like us to pray in that direction pertaining to our country. There are people who are plotting. There is no doubt about it. But the Bible tells us that the Lord is able to go into those plans and nullify them. The Lord is able to cause whatever. They can finish it and do everything. But at the end of the day, the Lord caused it to be ineffective in the name of Jesus. That's where we are now. We are praying. We are done. I'm going. I'm going to sit down right after this. In the name of Jesus, let us pray for our nation. We are breaking every negative cycle of deterioration. In the name of Jesus, every erosion, we are stopping it. We are putting an end to it in Jesus' name. Katala bakase, rakala mandele, je katala mamante, raba bakase, jala bakase, rakatole. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray against every demonic. Oh God and satanic worker of darkness in Jesus name in our nation in Jesus name South Africa we pray in Jesus name against every deterioration we come against erosion we come against it we put an end we declare a reversal in the name of Jesus oh God in political places father we pray oh God in the private sector we put an end to it in the name of Jesus, we declare that every erosion, every destruction is ceasing now. In the name of Jesus, cease in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that the horn of South Africa will be exalted in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Yeah, come on. Give the Lord a hand of praise. This is what the mountain of the Lord is for. The mountain of the Lord is here so that you can come in without confusion and live here with that thing being dealt with in the spirit realm. That's what the mountain of the Lord is here for. And I'm going to ask that you will be continue to pray that the Lord will indeed raise up his mountain. We will begin to see churches rise all over our nation and all over the world that will restore the image of God that the enemy is trying to destroy. That you will begin to see cycles breaking in your life. You will see it with your eyes. You will experience it in your finances. You will experience it in your prayer life, in every area of your life. And I'm gonna encourage us all to have altars at home. You must have your altar. You are as strong spiritually as your altar. The Lord is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that is at work within you how much power is in you how much power are you generating in your secret place how much power are you generating when you come into the house of god let us go back <laughs> it sounds so bad to talk about generators and luxury lotion and go and be a generator of power generator of power in your area they should know that things will not just happen. If there are crime, crime is increasing, you as a generator in your area, begin to generate enough power to, to repel the darkness. It's, all, it's about in, enough power. Oh, let me tell you my little understanding of, of load shedding. They are just basically saying we don't have enough power. And because we don't have enough power, we cannot supply everybody. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut down on certain places. And so in that, those places, oh, Katalabaha. Yo, Lord, right here, Jehoshayaka, Lord, shedding in Revelation. Here it is, church. The darkness in our country is a sign that we are not generating enough power. That's why there is load shedding in different areas. But if we generate enough power, there will be enough light to carry our nation. 
So we've got enough power, just seven kilowatt. Hey, 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 it's fine here. Yo, this side now, this side. We need to let the body of Christ to arise. That enough power is generated to begin to carry this nation. And you will begin to see things happening like never before. You will begin to see the things we see in the Bible. Divine replacement, seeing people being removed in power and new ones coming in. Changes in politics, in all the mountains. You will begin to see with your own eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. I hope you were blessed. I hope you got something. If you didn't get something, go home and pray. I'm sure there's something in there in the name of Jesus. If there's anybody here who doesn't know the Lord, that's where it starts. It starts with a relationship with Christ. If you want to give your life to Jesus or rededicate your life to Jesus, please come to the front. We don't want to embarrass you. Our time is well spent. We want to just pray with you. Please come if you're here. Lift your hand. If you're here, you want to fix your relationship with Jesus Christ. If you want to fix your relationship, whatever has gone wrong, it is time for you to fix it. We've got a generator here. We've been having it for a long time. But when the load shedding started, it had been sitting in storage and not being used. We didn't realize that it doesn't even work. Before the power could be generated, we had to take it in for repairs. We took it to people who deal with generators and they were able to fix it and make it to work again. And I'm saying to somebody today, before you can generate power, you need to go to the one who, who is the source of power, who deals with lives. He will fix you up. If you're not generating power, you need fixing. And the one who fixes life, which is Jesus, and the Holy Spirit will fix you up. And you will begin to generate power. If you're here and you say you want to reconcile your life to Jesus, just come if you're here. If not, we're just going to move on in Jesus' mighty name. I don't see anyone coming. I'm Zuil and I'm flesh. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Let us lift our hands as we are about to go. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, here are your people. I've shared the word you've told me to share. And I thank you, Lord, that it has not returned to you void. It will accomplish the work which you have sent it to do. We pray your blessing over them, that, Lord, indeed, every cycle is broken in their families, in their personal life, and even in our nation. Father, thank you for causing our heart to burn more and more for you. And we thank you this day. We decree and declare that the mountain of the Lord's house is indeed exalted. And we will see it. We will experience it. And nations will flock to it. We declare supernatural growth to every mountain of the Lord you would raise. In the name of every church that will begin to plug in on the altar of the Lord will begin to experience the supernatural, the unheard of, that everyone will begin to live under an open heaven. Father, thank you for opening our ears to hear you like never before, that we will be led and guided by you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Shall we sing this song one time and then we are all free to go? That victory belongs to Jesus. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can, no altar, no cycle, nothing can stand against the Lord in the name of Jesus. Can the worship team please help me? Who can stand against the Lord? I'm not a singer like that, so. <laughs> no one can, no one will. Who can stand? Aaron, it's a victory song. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Belongs to him. Oh, oh, oh.
bless you in Jesus name in Jesus name amen